Welcome to Good Works Tractors. Guys, how are we doing today? We are going to compare Category 1 quick hitches versus Category 2. So you're going to see a Cat 1 on both of these outside machines right here. You'll see them in red. These are all Speedco quick hitches. You're also going to see one tucked down here as well. We'll get to that in just a minute. So if you're in the market for a quick hitch or you just want to make it easier to attach your three-point implements right up to your tractor, pay attention, stick around, watch this. Maybe it'll save you some money. Maybe it'll save you some frustration. We have two different Category 1 quick hitches, and then over here, we're going to have a Category 2 quick hitch. So the main difference besides the color between these two quick hitches right here both being Category 1, is this is going to be the really popular version that does not use bushings. You can see this right here. For any attachment that you have with a traditional style of quick hitch, you're going to need to put a set of bushings on every implement. So if you have a box blade, a rear blade, a ballast box, um, a tiller, a brush hog, all that kind of stuff, you need to get a set of these bushings to put on every single attachment, and that can get really expensive. With a quick hitch like this, you avoid this. No more bushings required. It's a direct pin size here. I don't know the answer why uh, bushings have been required for years and years on all the traditional style of Category 1 quick hitches, but no more. You don't need it. However, when we get into the Category 2 sizing, you are going to have to use bushings. There's not an option for a direct pin fitment on the Category 2. So you need a set of these, or sometimes you have the kind of the clevis hook on a three-point hitch uh, where you have two pieces of steel and then a pin in between there. You'd have a different style of bushing, but regardless, a bushing is going to be required. So how do you know if you need a Category 1 or a Category 2? Well, it's pretty simple, really. So when you think about a Category 1, that's going to be what's on your tractor, the three-point hitch that's back there. And so if you have a 1025R or even all the way up to a 4066R, that's all going to be Category 1 equipment, so subcompacts and compact tractors. Once you start to get into 5 Series tractors like this, utility tractors, that's when you're going to be into Category 2. You're even going to see some that are a Cat 1, Cat 2 kind of little crossover type of thing there. It can get a little bit tricky with one of those. Stick around to later in the video or read the description below as well. You'll want to pay attention to all the dimensions, the left to right spacing, the up to down spacing, even the gaps in between the arms of the quick hitch. Check that against what you have on your machine there to make sure it's going to work for you. So whatever category your tractor is means that's going to be what size attachments hook up to it. So if you have a Category 2 machine like this one here, you're going to hook up Category 2 attachments. Same thing if it's a Cat 1 machine. You're going to hook up Category 1 attachments to it. These two Category 1 quick hitches here are going to weigh right around 70 pounds, give or take an ounce or two. When you get up to the Category 2, that's going to weigh in at a whopping 134 pounds. How we've been shipping out these Category 1 quick hitches is going to be wrapping them up. We don't put them in a box. We don't do anything like that. We've had really good success just wrapping them up with uh, corner protection and bubble wrap and shrink wrap or stretch wrap and sending them out UPS ground. Once you get up to the Category 2, though, it starts to get a little bit cumbersome to try to wrap that up and have UPS come here and pick those up. So I think what we're going to do is start shipping those out on a really small pallet. If you can find a location, a commercial loading dock, or maybe even have it picked up at a shipping terminal, those are going to be the cheapest ways to ship these products right here, the Category 2. So in particular, if you're thinking about getting a Category 2, we're all going to be shipping a pallet there anyways. If you want to fit some other products on there like wheel weights, suitcase weights, maybe a set of pallet forks, something along those lines, it can be really economical and be a really good savings going to a commercial address with a loading dock or even picking up at the destination terminal. Give you a real quick rundown here of what these quick hitches include. They are all a little bit different on what's included. I don't know why. The most popular version here, the Category 1 E-Hitch by Spico, is not going to require any bushings, therefore no bushings are included. The other goofy thing is it doesn't include a top pin. One of these can be purchased from like a TSC Farm and Fleet online at Amazon. Very easy, it's just a pretty standard pin here that you have in the top, but just want to make sure you know about that. Over here on the more traditional style of Category 1 Quick Hitch, you are going to have a set of bushings that is included. You are also going to have the top pin here. And then even this little uh, funny looking contraption right here, which is called a floating top link adapter. This is really designed to be used in place of a top hook. It'll kind of hang down like this and you can hook up uh, maybe a, a non quick hitch compatible attachment to it. Over here on the category two quick hitch, you are going to get a set of bushings again like this. And if you have the clevis style that has again, the two pieces of steel with a, a pin in between, this doesn't work on there, but there are a lot of attachments out there that do use this style of bushing. You are also not going to get that top pin on this version either, so make sure you pay attention. It's going to be a little bit bigger pin size, a Category 2 pin size that you want to have for your Category 2 Quick Hitch. This video idea came about because of a lot of questions from customers that have or want a solution maybe to having a Category 1 and Category 2 Quick Hitch compatible Quick Hitch. And I don't really know a product that exists like that, and that's where the dimensional spacing really comes into play. It's true that a lot of the 
the quick hitches out there require bushings on there that are going to size it up to a category two or a category three talking about these things right here they take if it's a category one pin that's on your attachment they they size it up to something larger than that however there's spacing that's involved or that becomes a real issue that's what we're going to talk about now so here's where the challenge lies is particularly particularly the lower dimensions okay your inner to inner outer to outer it doesn't matter on a category two quick hitch your id okay from inside to inside is 32 and three quarter inches if you bounce over to one of these category one quick hitches it's going to be 27 and a quarter a full five inches narrower or larger but a five inch difference there and so that's going to be why a category one attachment doesn't fit into a category two quick hitch and vice versa you also have variation between the lower links to the top links. On the category two here, it's gonna be just a hair under 15 inches from the bottom link down here to the top link. On the category two, it is welded in place, this top hook, presumably to add more structure, rigidity, strength to the overall system. On the category one quick hitch, you're gonna have a range for that top hook, you know, a max height, a lowest point. You're gonna have basically 14 and a half inches at the minimum to 17 and a half inches. So you have three inches of playroom, wiggle room from the bottom to the top. I'm gonna give you a couple quick dimensions here, both on the hooks and then also back to the ID on the inside of where you would mount one of these quick hitches to your three point hitch. On a category two quick hitch, these hooks measure about one and three quarter inches wide. Over on the category one, these links are going to measure, oh, just shy of one and a quarter inches. The last dimension I want to give you is actually going to be the ID right in here where the quick hitch attaches to the three-point arm. And this question or this dimension, I guess I'm giving it to you because I've had a few folks that have actually had a stabilizer arm that doesn't come back and tie in somewhere midpoint on the three-point arm. It actually comes all the way out and would tie in with a pin right up here. Kind of unusual, and it took me a little while to catch on to that but they were concerned about having enough space inside here to not only have the three-point arm come, but also their stabilizer arm come up and fit in there and then have a pin slide through and connect it all. So if we take a look down here on the inside of a category one quick hitch, your ID of where that lower link is gonna go in there is gonna be an inch and not even three quarters, probably an inch and 11 sixteenths it looks like. Over here on a category two quick hitch, we take a look here at the ID and you're gonna have about an inch and seven eighths, not quite 15 sixteenths. Well, hopefully that helps. You know, again, if you have a category one tractor, even as large as a 4066R or something equivalent to it, it's category one. It's really simple. Get yourself one of these guys, or if, if you want to use the bushings, go ahead and get one of these down here. Down to a little 1025, a little subcompact, doesn't matter, Kubota, Mahindra, Massey, Coyote, you name it. They're all gonna use those category one. If you're into a larger, utility style of tractor category two that's going to be what you want unfortunately there's going to be that small gap that's kind of a crossover you get into some of the smaller five series like a john deere 50 45e something like that or an mx series in kubota something equivalent to that you're going to have that category one category two crossover if you have category one attachments and also category two attachments you're going to have to get really creative on finding a solution to make them all made up with one quick hitch again because of the spacing it's not only spacing that's on the quick hitches here it's also spacing that's on the corresponding uh, attachments that you had that hook up to the three point now don't forget goodworkstractors.com go ahead check them out on there shoot me an email we can place the order with you we ship them all over the country all the time these smaller ones again we can ship them ups ground right to your house you get one of these category twos it's going to have to ship on a skid a small skid you know if you can find that commercial address or the the local destination terminal to pick it up at those are typically your cheapest options if you want to maximize the shipping savings stack a lot of stuff onto that same little skid there and you'll really minimize that savings when you spread it out across all the equipment you're buying if you would take a second give a thumbs up a thumbs down and also subscribe to the channel that would really help us out read through that description below for all sorts of helpful links on cool stuff for tractor owners and check out the other videos on the channel until next time stay safe we'll see you soon